Hello YouTube and welcome to a quick tutorial. So do you have an old school Mac Pro 1.1, 2.1 that have the 32-bit EFI limitation? If you do, here's a nice and easy way to get OS 10 El Capitan installed on that machine. So first things first, you'd need a Mac running, I guess, any OS 10 version that has uh, Bash and that can download the El Capitan installer unless you copy it over from another supported Mac. So I used my 2014 Mac Mini Core i5 2.6 GHz 8 gigs of 1600 MHz DDR3 and this is on El Capitan 10.11.3 and basically all you'll need is to have the OS 10 installer inside your applications folder and to have the Pickify uh, 3.1 in your downloads folder and you get that from here on the Mac Rumors and Forms. Right here. This is the post you want that has all of the commands you would need. And so, anyway, I'm going to go through what I did to make my USB. So, I've already done it. As you can see, there's the USB drive. So, anyway, you need to open up your terminal. And you need to have it in your in the Pegafy folder. So, CD and then drag over the directory. You want to be there. And then you would type sudo Space dot slash create pike install media slash volume slash and where I have OS 10 right here you put your volumes name when I first tried to do this and they had in quotes and me install media name I thought you had to put the quotes but no you delete the quotes I'm not going to run this right now because I've already done it and it takes forever and so expect another part with trying the bootable flash drive out in the near future I hope you all enjoyed this short info and I do not take any of the credit for this program it all goes to the man who made it and who put it up on Mac Rumors we all need to thank him, and also we all need to thank um, Piker Alpha, who makes the boot dot, modified boot.efi files, so our old 2006-2007 era Mac Pros can still run modern OS X, even without the support of Apple. So, I know it's a little of a change compared to my typical gaming stuff on the channel, but hey, I'm wanting to branch out. There's going to be more software-related stuff on here. OS 10, Mac, you know, Mac Pro vi videos, upgrade videos, maybe even eventually some Alienware upgrade videos, among other things. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one.